All right, guys, sorry I've been a little bit MIA on YouTube. Uh, it's been a little bit chaotic lately, <clears throat> but I did film my chest workout, and that's what we're going to get straight into now. So uh, I'm going to run through you uh, what my 75% max is of my one rep max. So when you saw my uh, how I found my one rep max from my bench press, this is now uh, going off percentages from that. So uh, first week into uh, how I set up my chest workout and all of the exercises to equate the total volume. Um, you'll see exactly what I do. Not very hard, but uh, it's definitely effective. And this is what you guys can then focus more on um, when you're actually doing the exercises instead of just going balls to the wall on every single exercise you could possibly do. Let's find the minimum effective volume that you guys can still adapt to and see results from. So let's get straight into it. 75% of my one rep max is about 97 and a half kilos and that's what I've got on there just disregard the uh, the way I've put on the weights um, for some reason this felt so scary for me like putting 100 kilos under me or on top of me is no worries but when you start equating smaller amounts um, I found that it was def difficult to adapt to different you know energy levels I suppose um, that might have just been me also changing the time of day that I do train. Um, with the angle of my elbows, you'll see that they're not fully upright. That would just cause more stress on the middle delt. So you can see they're sort of slightly um, bent or down slightly below my shoulders. This will take a lot of stress off the shoulders um, and allow you to press a little bit more. Closer hand pr um, placement. Definitely allows you to press more. I like to keep it the same across the board using the, the actual um, lines on the bar, which is really cool. Then I know I'm getting the same press across uh, every time I do bench press. For some reason with these, the um, horizontal press, they feel a lot easier. So I can press a lot more. So uh, you can see here, I'm just chatting a lot while I'm doing my warm up rep, as you might benefit from because it's a new movement. So jump into um, a few warm-up sets before you actually do your working sets on a new exercise. But if you're used to the exercise, I'd, I reckon just warm up at the start of your workouts and you should be fine. With this one, I had to definitely get a little bit more creative with adding weights as they wouldn't fit on the, the actual bars. So chuck 2.5s on the uh, safety rails there, which is fine, like there's room for it. Um, and each exercise, I normally aim for about 10 repetitions. Um, if I want to go for strength, I'll drop it to about eight repetitions and do this for three sets across each exercise. Nothing generally changes there. I like to make sure I can do things for three sets, um, not just a one hit wonder with one set. Uh, with these flies, I like to lean forward, um, go for depth with my elbows, as you can see with the um, the bend in my elbows. That was, it just keeps a lot of strain off the shoulders. So if you start flying, um, pulls a lot more on the front delt. Uh, so they're really cool. Don't have to go super heavy with those, but you could probably increase the reps, uh, especially with these ones, the low to high cables. Definitely go for higher reps, like 12 to 15. Um, what this does is enforces the muscles to become better at that movement, recruiting uh, more fibers across a longer duration of the set instead of just doing um, a lot of heavy weights, which is just near impossible for these or less beneficial for these type of exercises especially with our energy dropping over the duration of the whole workout so something around that rep range would be perfect for these try not to i was feeling pretty fatigued here i don't know what it was something in the day but um yeah that's that's like straightforward three sets of everything and uh straight into it guys Well, that's it. Simple, clean chest workout. Uh, follow along with that. And then next week, we're going to progress with more repetitions, but more strength. Um, so there's no point doing balls to the wall and everything um, and then failing next week. We want to be progressing every week. Uh, and it's hard to say no. You always do a lot more, but uh, that's where people fail. That's finally here. The uh, canvas that I've been waiting for. Have a look at that bad boy. So this is from Mali Limited. 
Um, and you can get 15% off these canvases. If you just use the code on their Instagram page, it's welcome15. This bad boy is actually going to go up here. I'm going to bring a bit of colour to my uh, study and uh, hopefully it doesn't distract me from doing too much work. But uh, thanks guys. Uh, this is going to be an asset to this room, I'll tell you that.